I am from Maryland. I'm in the DMV area. Okay. DMV well, I'm originally area. from I'm originally from Philly, but I live in Maryland. Okay, you live in Maryland. How old are you, Boo? I'm 36. 36. Do you have any children? I have two kids. Two girls. Two girls. How old are your girls? 14 and 7. Oh, my pen just died. I got to use my phone. 14 and 7. Hold on, my pen just died. So I got to use my phone to type it out. Two girls, 14 and 7. What do you do for a living? I'm a hairstylist. Do both of your girls have the same dad? No. No. <laughs> Hairstylist. What's your zodiac sign? Damn zodiac. Aries. Aries. So this is Ashley Maryland, thirty six. Um, Aries hairstylist, two girls, fourteen and seven. What kind of man are you looking for? I am looking for a man that is healed. Um, actually, <clears throat> I'm looking for a reformed hood nigga. <laughs> yes, you have to be healed. You have to be established. Um, I don't mind someone who got out of jail. You just have to be established and on your feet. So we could Before we even move on here, what is going on with modern women today? They're always saying that we're all the good men at, we're all the good brothers at. And then we have this woman here calling the Kendra show looking for a reform pookie, looking for a thug, someone out of jail here. Let's go on the video here, but can we make this make sense here? Could have did five years in jail, but turn his life around. Yep. And that's the man you prefer, actually. I do. Tell us why. Um, I feel like men that were in jail, they a lot. And when they come out and they turn their life around, um, I feel like they grind better. They are more Look, family far oriented. Out. Start from the beginning. I said, why, why you wow, she is, is saying that men who come out of jail grind harder than regular men who have never been in jail here. I, I am trying to figure this out, Tribe and the AIC here, because this logic of going after men who are in prison here, and I'm not trying to dog my brothers out who have been reformed, been released in society, and I do know in our black community how so many brothers have been locked up for reasons that is not even protocol here. But for women to go ahead and look for this type of man when he has been institutionalized, boy, we can't make this up here. Why do you want to man? I, hold on, hold on. Why do you want a man that's been out of jail? A uh, man that's been out of jail, that means that, you know, they, they look at life differently. They are willing to grind harder. Sorry. They become a family man. Um, they grind harder and they just look at life differently and they willing to turn their lives around. So it's just a whole outlook on life than a man who hasn't been in jail. I've never heard this in my whole entire life. I haven't heard that either because all the men that I know in my family, men and women who's been to jail, and then the men and women in my family and friends who've never been to jail, it has nothing to do thinking that these people are in jail, they grind harder. It is their mentality and how they were always built. But one thing is for sure though, all the people who I know who've never been in jail or prison, they grind way more harder and they have more opportunities because they don't have any felonies and they have other jobs available to them. Unlike when you get locked up here and if you have a felony, your butt is not getting hired here. So I just need to understand how women are going to this mantra here. Let's continue. So you never heard of somebody wanting a reform to it, nigga? It's a damn shame, y'all. I mean, maybe I've heard that. I think it goes both ways. I know that there are, I know that jail has made some, this is true. Jail has made some people, some men better people, you know? But then sometimes jail can do the opposite and then that person never reforms because of the experience that they went through in jail. So it could go, it's a, it, it could go either way. Right, I, but, I agree with that. But why not a man that just never went to jail but has his head on straight? Uh, I, I've, I've dealt with both, so I that's just that's just what I'm looking for. So the um, man that went to jail, you liked him better than the man that never went to jail. Yeah. They're, they're Let me pause that here because basically what we're understanding here, I don't care what kind of explanation she gets. If she is saying that the men out of jail 
is not her preference compared to the men she's dated who's came out of jail, who's been in jail here. It sounds like that you are attracting Pookies and Ray Rays. You are attracting the bad element here. So it doesn't matter if the man is in jail or not in jail. It seems like you're attracting the lowest common denominator man. Their, their mentality is different to me, honestly. Okay, why did it work, work out between you and the former jail guy? Um, distance. I went into the military, and so um, it was the whole distance thing, and we just lost contact. So, okay, so she's being, she's she's dated the man who ain't never been to jail, and the I, man that went to jail. I'm not and saying that jail is a requirement. I'm not saying you that. say you want a former hood man, and then you I do, I do, with. but it don't have to be a requirement. That's what you. Men like me, you make it sound like it's a requirement here because of off the rip, you say you're looking for a reformed thug. A person like me, any man who's not in reformed thug, we are a productive people in society here. We cross you off the list here because if you're looking for that kind of man, I know that I ain't the man for you and I don't want this kind of woman in my life. Let's continue. You love it. <laughs> I mean, do y'all know that all I do is repeat what y'all say? <laughs> It doesn't have to be a requirement, though, honestly. I guess you don't like to hear it out loud when I say it. It's, not just, it's the same thing That's you not, I mean, I guess the terminology is just, a, I'll say a reform to a nigga. All right. Uh, well, what are your deal breakers besides having two parents who didn't live in the hood and you came from the suburbs and you don't know anything about it? What are your other deal breakers? Um, i say unhealed trauma. Um, if they no daddy mommy issues baby mama drama um they have to be uh established yeah <laughs> okay you want a man who's been healed I understand when people go to jail, they come out. There is a percentage that is reinstitutionalized here, but majority of them have been acclimated to that kind of lifestyle that it's going to take them a while to reform and to be acclimated into everyday life. So you are asking for a man that is not even on your list of the things that you are even looking for here, because you can't tell me that any person who has been in institutionalized here and when they come home, they feel differently, especially in the bed they sleep in. They the silence just throws them off. They like the loudest because that's what they used to here. So what you're asking for and the kind of man you're looking for do not even coexist. OK, you are 36. What's the age range you want to do? Um, um, Wait, 35. are you 36 or 26? No, I'm 36. Okay, 36. What's the age range you want to date? 35 to 45. 35 to 45. Can he have kids already? Yes. Yes. Um, does he have to look a certain way? Yes. Uh, tall, dark, um, <laughs> nice teeth, good hygiene. Tall, dark, nice teeth, good hygiene. Yeah. Let me get this straight here. So he has to be tall, dark, handsome, reformed thug pookie. He's got his foot on. He's got his footing in life here. And he's got to have his business in, in, in fairs order. I don't know many guys who come out of jail who's moving like this. Only thing that I see is probably the tall, dark, and handsome. But that's just only looking for something that makes you feel good. You're not looking for substance. What about money? Oh, it has to be in the gym because I'm a, I'm a I'm a gym girly. So. Gym girly. Yeah. Does he have to make a certain amount of money? Um, not necessarily because I am well established. So I just would want him to be well established, well in his career. Okay. And, Could he be yeah. in jail getting out? N absolutely not. Oh, not. I'm about no. to say because you can't use your address no. for. No, 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 no. Cause you know I got people that watch. I got cousins in jail. I got cousins. We learned it's that. Trapped. I got cousins in jail who uh -uh. watch the show. Well established. Well established. Well. So I would say, I would say, if you are out of jail, I would say three to five year mark, post jail, post jail, established post -jail. in a in a job, not bouncing back and forth between jobs. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. There you have it. Let's do the Kendra cam. Let's okay. see what she's working with, guys. Cam. We're going to the Kendra cam. Yeah. But she said my light gotta be severe right here. Let's 
see. Oh, you like you're in great shape. Okay. We can see that she does work out, guys. So I can easily see how a Pookie and Ray Ray, a hobosexual, or a Dusty Darrow will slide right into that mix here. At least she's not fat and overweight. Okay. Okay, girl. You got some muscles, girl. <laughs> Ashley, when was your last relationship? Um, A year and a half ago. Um, did he go to jail? Was he out of he jail? was in and out of jail. He was in and out of jail. What's he at now? Um, he's in Virginia. Okay, he was in out of jail, but he's not in jail in Virginia. No, is he? Okay. Um, why did it? Oh, that's the one because you moved. No, no. This is my my youngest daughter's father. Oh, oh, oh! Your youngest daughter's father. That's why you have two kids. Yeah. And they so her baby daddy is a man in and out of jail here. Like I said earlier in the video, she chooses pookies she chooses hobosexuals here that is what we got going on here with two kids by two different men you are attracting what you're getting here they are um, um 14 minutes of it okay you don't have to answer but i'm gonna ask when was the last time you was intimate with someone a couple of months ago okay uh what are three flaws you have to work on um i'm gonna say i'm impatient i could be a little bit um, impatient, a little bit of a hot head, and I can't think of a, a, a number three. I don't know. Guys, any woman, any person in general, but we're talking about this woman here, anybody that cannot name three flaws about themselves, they are the biggest flaw to anybody here. Because let's look at out of here. We are born as imperfect humans. We don't do everything perfect. We don't do everything right every single second, every single day of our lives here. So if you can't name flaws that's about you, then that tells me that you are somebody who don't pay attention around your surroundings here and don't think that you need to upgrade and do what's best for yourself. Guys, even the reformed pookies and thugs out there, run if a woman can't tell you her flaws. Let's continue. You only have two. You, you, you only have two flaws. You? Okay. Um, I'ma say I can be eager too. Eager. Mm -hmm. You call that a flaw? Independent. Some people see it being independent as a flaw. That is it, it, finally it flaw three. Depending on a man, right? Some men, right. some men don't like women to be too independent, but I'm, I'm independent. Okay. Ashley, why would a guy be lucky to be with you? Um, I am established. I have my own. Um, I, I, I'm a hard worker. Um, I'm pretty. I am empathetic. Um, and yeah, I'm fun. I'm a fun Aries. Everybody loves an Aries. Get you an Aries. Everybody loves an Aries. Get you an Aries. All right, yeah. let's do it. This is Ashley Maryland, 36, two children. Um, 14 and 7, hairstylist, um, 36, and um, let's do it. How could the guy reach out to you, baby? You can reach out to me on here on IG. I am A-S-H Ash underscore fit, F-I-T-W-O-N, fit one. Fit one. All right, boo, will you keep me posted on what goes, babe? All right, thank you, Kendra. Bye, baby. Bye. Okay, guys, that's the end of the video here. If you guys are interested in hitting her up, you heard her contact details. Go forward here. But let me give you my two cents in the situation here. Fellas, when in ladies, this is what we're dealing with here when men are talking about where are all of our black women? Why do they demean us here? Why are you mad at passport bros when they leave the country here? This woman here who is single right now and her first preference is a reformed thug here. She didn't say that she's looking for a good quality man. She didn't say that this guy, you know, she was an established man. But you want someone who's been in and out of jail and then you expect him to be established and you expect him to be tall, dark and handsome. It seems like she's looking for 50 cent, but the local version of it here. So when men are complaining about women in our community, this is why women are voluntarily looking for the lowest common denominator man now i know some of my brothers here who have been jail and locked up but even you guys will even say that the past transcripts that you have here you wish you didn't do these things here and that some of the men that i do know look up to the 
squares or the L7s who kept their nose clean and were never involved with Johnny Law here. So for women to go ahead and say, I want a thug here, I run a reform pookie. You could be in jail or in and out of jail, but as long as you're out of jail for a couple of years, what does that tell the men who have made it a point to obey the law, made it a point to build themselves, made it a point to stand 10 toes down to make sure they are the man who they're supposed to be. This is the reason why that black women are only getting married at 26% clip here. Because any woman that sits out of their, out of their mouth here, the majority of men are gonna say, I don't wanna deal with a woman like this here. If she wants to deal with thugs, I know it's not gonna work. She's gonna break up with me or she's gonna do things that modern women do here. So fellas, you run across a situation like this, don't care how she looks, don't care what kind of you know presentation she gives here, because we know at a certain time here, it's going to go left because you don't make her feel good, even though that you are a person who has stood up, built yourself up, protect a person, protect a person society so that you want to build a nuclear family, have kids and grow here. But black women, if this is your first choice, you cannot get mad that men are not choosing you or the men that you do get end up leaving you with two kids by two different men, just like this woman here. And especially the fact that one of her baby daddies is in and out of jail, in and out of jail. So for any man, why would you want to sign up for this? Let me know, ladies. Let me know, gentlemen. Let's open up discussion here. Comment like subscribe and click on that bell notification below let me know what you think about this video about this woman here and my commentary i want to know what you guys think about the situation with black black people dating today but as always i'm that dude named dave sell so it youtube world <laughs>